Okay, you bought yourself a Roadcaster Pro, and you're ready to edit your podcast that you've just recorded. However, you're not sure what software to get. Well, they have some recommendations on how to. So if you click on Downloads on the Road website, come down here, you will see that they have how to use the multitrack with the Roadcaster Pro walkthroughs for your digital audio workstation uh, for Audition and all of these other ones but the problem is all of these cost money and they are I mean kind of expensive so there are other uh, free options but one of my free options is kind of odd it's not even an audio editor it's a video editor it's made by these people who make lots of hardware, Blackmagic Design. So they, if you go to their products page, you'll see under DaVinci Resolve Fusion and Blackmagic Key GPU, you will see they have this thing called DaVinci Resolve 16. Now that does say 300 or 299, but they have a free version. Uh, this is DaVinci Resolve 16 Studio, and then they have just regular old DaVinci Resolve which does not cost you any money. So how do you get it? Well, you go to support, click on DaVinci Resolve Fusion and Blackmagic eGPU, and when you come down here, you'll see that they have DaVinci Resolve Studio. If you download that, it's going to ask for a dongle or a uh, some sort of code that you would have to pay for. But this one right here is free. It's DaVinci Resolve free. Now the difference between the paid up here and the free down here uh, is not really worth even discussing because for what you guys would be using it for, uh, podcasting, um, there's not going to be much difference. Now if you're not into doing beta software, then feel free to go on down to the non-beta version, which is 15. Let's see, where are you? 15, there you are, except this is the studio version, the one you'd pay for. So you would definitely want to download this one. And it works for Mac, Windows, or Linux. So I walk my friends through how to set up their Roadcaster with, uh, within DaVinci Resolve. And that's what you're going to see next. Uh, you are going to uh, go to your sound uh, settings first. In your sound settings, you will choose the uh, Roadcaster, the input, but choose the road, Roadcaster multi channel, and your output, you will choose the Roadcaster Pro stereo. Because now, when you go to Resolve, it's going to look to those sound settings so that you can map to and from them. Take everybody, and YouTube's going to look at my desktop. <laughs> You're like you want to start over? Damn, dude. <laughs> no, nah, it's fine. Because you could use a different screen. Oh, uh, nah, it's fine. Right. I don't you care. Just go to a different desktop. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I have anything. I don't care. Or you could, or no, I guess that nah, all your shit would still be there. I know how to edit video. It'll be fine. Um, so, <laughs> oh, is that your social security number? Yep, right. it's right awesome. there. Yeah. Yep, just in a file name. You know, it's. So you're <laughs> going to choose probably, you can either choose the Untitled Project, they always either have an Untitled Project up here, uh, or you can choose a uh, New Project. Either way, you get the kind of same result. So uh, New Project lets you name the project. So I would name it with the date, 2019, I don't know, 0525 podcast, you know. Uh, then you create that, and then... Uh, here you are. It jumps you straight to the edit tab down here. And if you want to bring in your media, uh, you're going to go to the media tab and then go search for it. But uh, we're going to use this as a multi-track recorder. So you would want to jump to Fairlight, but there's no tracks. And you can't right click over here and add tracks uh, because you need a timeline first. So if you jump on over to edit, and right click in this area timelines create a new timeline uh, and this really doesn't matter too much uh, you just need a timeline 
and then come back over to Fairlight, now you have your first uh, track. And so let's say you wanted to set up the entire roadcaster to come into this thing. Um, the very first two tracks are going to be, if you double click up there, you can say stereo mix. The next track after that would be a mono track, which is going to be mic one. Mic one. This is real boring to watch, but I'm going to fast forward through all this. This one would be mic two. Uh, add a track, mono. Mic three. Add a track, mono. Mic four. Uh, Can you this do like a project template? Uh, probably. <laughs> I don't know exactly. Okay. Uh, I think may you. I mean. Or I guess you could. Yeah, you could create a this timeline. This is a project, right? And duplicate this timeline. Yeah. yeah, you could. You could make one project that is like, uh, all your podcasts. Yeah. And just say this timeline was, you know, podcast number one, but t uh, podcast number two, you just duplicate one and delete the media out of it, or something like that. But or you could make this project stop once all of this stuff's done. Right. Save it. Export that. Right. Right. And then not have to do this every time. Right, oh, right. Im import this, open this project. Yeah, and yeah. You already have that. Oh, at least all that stuff set up. Creating as a template. Okay, yeah. sure. That's what That's I mean. Yeah. yeah, there's a bunch of ways to okay. peel that onion. I don't say skin the cat anymore because of Susie. So, <laughs> potato, peel the potato. It just doesn't have the same ring. Anyway, so the next channel is a USB. These next USB phone. So skin the cat fish. Catfish. Skin the catfish. There you go. USB, phone, and Bluetooth, and music playback are all stereo tracks. So instead of... Now we're going to add a add a stereo track, and this one's going to be the USB. And then this one is going to be the TRS. Oops. Sounds like a retirement thing. Uh, and then this one... It's going to be Bluetooth. Uh, Bluetooth. I don't know how to spell it. Okay, good enough. And then the last one is your sound effects, which is SFX. So now... You know Bluetooth was the last name of the guy that invented it? No, I had no idea. Yeah, that's why it's called Bluetooth. This is his last name. I knew that, I knew that Wi-Fi was just something somebody made up yeah. you know, like it doesn't stand for anything so. now the next thing you need to do if you want to record into here is you gotta arm these tracks but none of them will arm because there's no input patched to them so now that you have multiple tracks over here the channels will show up and if this isn't here it's probably because this thing is turned off that's a little toggle up there so if we pull this all the way over now you've got uh, Everywhere it's it's, a, it's like an open book test. It tells you no input. So go to this and you go to input, and then your you know stereo left and right here need to be patched to channels one and two. And say patch, and then this is your mic one to mic one. That's going to get patched uh, that to this because we did it in order. Hopefully. Um, sort of easy to follow along. Then the next one is a stereo, USB left and right. Uh, and then this one is left and right for the TRS left and right. And then this is left and right for Bluetooth left and right and patch. And this is left and right for your sound effects left and right patch. So now once we close this, we should be able to, and this is a cool thing I learned, if you click and drag on this record all the way down, they mm. all Cool, huh? Ooh, yeah. yeah, so we have some, looks like one of these microphones, even though we have everything turned down on the Roadcaster, this doesn't care. Uh, it's getting just the It, it does the, what they call pre-fader. Okay. So as long as there's a microphone plugged in, which we have two mics, right? And then USB seems to be plugged in right here, which it may be feeding back because... Uh, we didn't turn on mix. Right, because right. we didn't we didn't turn on mix minus. Yeah. So um, 
Yeah, so now you should be able to just hit record and, um, <coughs> you know, you'll record your whole thing and test it out. And uh, so I'm recording here and I'm hearing myself back, which the broadcaster doing that. Um, so now if I, if I stop this and I click and drag on all these and I come back to here, it would hear you back through the roadcaster if you turned it up. And, ah, you, and you can hear yourself, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, um, but we, we can't hear it through the computer speakers because our sound, uh, whenever is, we were back in sound, um, is set for to play out roadcaster for stereo. Yeah. So if I change this to internal speakers and come back here, Hopefully it wouldn't break things, it would just work. We could like unmute it somehow, but I think I think we may have confused resolve at this point. So that's probably why it's not uh, playing Point back. So. Anyway, and then from there you just uh, save your project and uh, uh, well after you're done editing and moving things around, uh, you go to your deliver tab and in deliver you're gonna say I don't want video. I just want audio, and so then you can probably not going to want just an audio QuickTime. You're going to want either an MP4 or a Wave. Wave is higher quality. Uh, you probably do this one and then go into iTunes and have iTunes create the podcast file for you. And so um, once you're here, you can either give it a file name like you know test podcast. And then add this to render queue. It says, where do you want to put it? And you're like, oh, your desktop or something. Save. Because uh, that's where everything goes. And then you hit uh, start render. And it will export that WAV file. Um, now, the cool thing about Fairlight is that built into all of these tracks is uh, all these effects. So like everything, if you double click here, here's your EQ for every single track and your uh, dynamic compressor, you know, so you can make things the same volume and panning, but inside of it, this little effects right here, Fairlight Effects, uh, D Esser, D Hummer, uh, and there's like a D noise, I thought, in here. Noise reduction. Yes, this is the coolest. Because if you can find a spot on your track in here somewhere where nobody's talking, uh, you can you can say learn the noise during that, you know, while it's playing back, and then when it's done learning, you uh, it will apply that noise reduction to each of these tracks, makes it sound even cleaner. So cool. and that's how you got rid of the fridge. That's how I got rid of your fridge. Yeah. Okay. Or it, say you have a guest that is super, and so notice how, here's noise reduction, but let's say you have a guest that also is very s -y, has too many S's. Well, you can come in here and say, let's put a de on it. You know, notice how they keep stacking the effects. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it's, it is a great little, I can't believe it's free thing, you know? None of these effects, are they... Like... You're doing the, the noise reduction first. Yes. And so then the de-essing is on that noise reduction. Yes. Right? Yeah. Okay. And but you, you can, could de-ess first and then yep. the noise reduce. And it also... Or like that, echo after certain things. Sure. Okay. Sure. Absolutely. And and it make it does make a huge difference how you... Are in. Yeah. So... Um, yeah, it's a it's a great program. Uh, the one thing that I would warn about the, the roadcaster is see how... This track up here is left and right. This will have is a, a full mix of everything that you you guys uh, you know coming through it, and it also has the effects that are built into the roadcaster. So mm -hmm. that RL exciter and the big bottom and and all those things are all baked in. Okay. Whereas all of these don't none of them have any of that. Okay. So if you liked okay. the RL exciter, then you're going to have to try and mimic from A2 all through A9, whatever settings that you have on your roadcaster mm -hmm. to kind of match it. But ultimately, matching those, not a big deal. Like the RL Exciter is just a bump in high frequencies, the big bottom is a bump in low frequencies. 
and then you could do the compressors right here. It's like yeah. not, it's not not rocket science, you know. Uh, and especially so the other okay, so the other thing that I would recommend is like whenever one person is talking let's see, you started talking, you picked up you were probably mic three. Yeah. So let's say you're mic three and you start talking. If you ever wanted to get into editing, mm -hmm. like I would only when you're talking have your stuff up like that, right? So just you talking. But whenever uh, Wiggy's talking, just have him talking right there. But obviously, uh, if you want that to happen, you would, you know, add your little uh, scissor cuts. And, well, maybe you don't even need them. You just actually, let's try. Yeah, there you go. So now Wiggy would talk here, you would talk, and he would talk. Like okay. Okay. Yeah, and so that that's kind of like a, a manual, what they would call gate. Okay. And that way you can make sure, like, there's a couple of times in, in your podcast where Wiggy was on his thing yeah. and making noise, which totally ended up in the stereo. Uh -huh. But uh, right here, um, you can you can go back and, and, like, take the stereo and say, oh, during, during that part where he was doing that, we we're going to not use the stereo mix anymore. And we are going to use... Why would you use the stereo mix to begin with? Well, just because it's already done. Uh, okay. Yeah, so, so if, if, you're, uh, if you did a perfect podcast, you want to get it on the web, yeah. just grab the stereo mix. You don't even have to go in But yeah, like here. if we're yeah. editing here... Yeah, if you're already editing... We don't need that, though, do we? Because <coughs> well, when you export, right. is it going to... So let's... Here, let me un undo some things because we're kind of talking about a different thing though. So if you would use the stereo mix if the mix was perfect throughout the podcast. Okay. But you just like at the very beginning of the podcast there was um, oh too much dead space. We wanted the, the music to start right at the beginning and then you just move the whole stereo mix over like that. Uh -huh. uh, and then and tighten up the end. And also throughout the podcast maybe there's some dead spaces in there that you don't have to cut all of the tracks and move them over. You you know you can just do it to these two, uh, and not have to do it from everything on down. Because if you cut one track and not the other ones and edit just one track, uh -huh. then everything shifts out of sync. Yeah, well, yeah. and that's where I'm like kind of confused on the, the stereo mix and like if I make changes here, right, right, and then render it out. Yeah, but I didn't make the change down here, so. It seems right, like right. You cancel it out. Right, you'd you'd probably choose either. Like the reason we recorded all of them is just in case this turned out perfect. Okay. Right. In which case you could just select all these and delete them. You know, just be like, all right, I'm just we're just doing we're just going to edit, cut out some dead spaces in the stereo mix because the mix was fine. Okay. But um, if it wasn't, uh, and you wanted to remix from scratch. Then you can just get rid of the stereo mix and, go and, and just okay. cut all of these guys. All right, yeah, that so. makes sense now. Yep, that's I mean, the basics, I think. 